Your time now is 6.20. It's day three of the Crossroads Film Festival in Madison. I'm joined today by one of the creators of one of the films featured, 83 Days. It tells a story about a young black man being put to death for a crime he didn't commit. Take a look. My name's George Stinney Jr. But everybody called me Jr. Why they got a kid like you in here? I was 14 years old. Brought me here to protect me. They say I killed two white girls. What did you do? But I didn't. Nothing. Wow, that was a look at 83 Days. Now I am here with the film's director, Andrew Paul Howell. Now tell me a little bit about the backstory of 83 Days. So. Uh, Junior's story is one that started in 1944, and he was arrested, tried, convicted, and he was put to death in 83 days. And so, um, with the, with the partner, with the with the help of uh, my co-writer uh, and the original author of the script, Ray Brown, executive he's a co-executive producer. He um, he helped to get Junior exonerated, ultimately leveraging the state of South Carolina to reopen the case. And so, it uh, it's a it's a, a miscarriage of justice that goes all the way up beyond the governor's office um, to the level of the FBI. So it's a really interesting story. It's an inter interesting piece of our history and uh, some of the backstory, some of the little tidbits yeah. you get to see in our film. Yeah, and again, it was the tra watching the trailer was just so powerful. So, Thank and you. we hear so many stories um, of, of history. Yeah. Why was this one so important for you all to do? Um, so this, this story is important because it's, a, it's like um, the the youngest, right? So it's a base point for us to talk about. I think it's it's um, it's a place where we can really look at um, some of the roots of the criminal justice system and maybe how we could how we could learn from those lessons and and try to take those lessons and uh, see how they apply today and then and then um, you know grow from there. So that's okay. that's I think the most important the most important part of it. You know, also just uh, to document our history so that our children uh, can learn from that experience and, and grow from it. I think having having a place where we can see it um, and you know, and remember, remember it. Okay. So, yeah. And last thing, um, you've been in this industry for quite some time. So, what can the people expect from this uh, film uh, festival this weekend? Well, first, I want to congratulate the Crossroads Film Festival. They are on their 20, 20 year anniversary. And if you haven't been out to the Crossroads Film Festival, you have to get out here. It's the last day, and uh, it's made up of a bunch of filmmakers from all over the country, all over the world. And um, you know, there's there's a film for everybody. It's not just uh, social justice stories. It's it's films from every angle, every aspect. And so, um, you know, if you can make it out, it runs throughout the day today to late tonight. And uh, it's, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing festival put on by some amazing folks. And so we're just honored to be here. And uh, yeah, awesome. you can All check right. out 83 Days, 245 uh, this afternoon at the Crossroads Film Festival. Come on out. All right. Be careful you. in that weather, though. <laughs> That's right. All right. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you all after the break.